What if glass can save lives? You can make glass out of a number of materials and Novel Glass focuses on the most exotic parts of these materials. The Calcutta glass that we make here at Southampton is really unique in the fact that it can transmit both infrared and visible light at the same time. In order to manufacture our glass, we mix powders in a graphite or a vitreous carbon crucible, place it inside a tube furnace, heat that up to 1150 degrees for 24 hours for it to be thoroughly melted and well incorporated together. Trying to achieve the highest purity is very important for infrared glasses because that enables you to have the best transmission. We have a flow of gas that enables to take away any volatile impurities. So once we make our glass, we want to make sure that it is functioning as we expect it. So if we're using it for electronic properties, we want to understand that it's conductive. If we're using it for optical properties, we want to make sure that the light that we want to be able to send through it is actually sent through, that it's mechanical and its thermal properties are fit for purpose. So we use characterization techniques and we have a whole suite of instruments that allow us to detect all of these properties to make sure we get what we actually want. Once we have manufactured a glass ingot, then we can cut it, we can polish it, we can bring it down to the size that we need it to be, and then proceed to shape it for its specific application. We have reached fiber diameter that is down to 10 microns, which is 0.01 millimeters. And every expert in fiber drawing will tell you that's not possible. It is. We have a lot of equipment that we've actually created and made ourselves. So that gives us the ability to really make things that a lot of other places don't have the capability or the chance to do. And that has enabled us to really explore many different application spaces. So an example of how our glass can save a life is the fact that it can be used in a fiber optic cable for surgery, which can then also detect the infrared signals and allow you to have real-time detection of, for example, cancer. People come into us saying, we're really interested in this, but we can't make it ourselves, or we haven't found anyone else that can make it. So we're a really good partner to give people something that they thought was not possible. <laughs>